Hey guys, what's happening? Jim here, Jim's playing strings and video games. Today is episode one of Model Train Mondays. And if you're wondering what Model Train Mondays are, uh, it's a new series to my channel. Every Monday I'll be posting something related to Model Trains. Um, model Trains, obviously. And, you know, Mondays are just, everyone hates Mondays, so why not Mondays? You know, some people really like Tyco HO Scale. And I got you. You know, I, I just pulled it out and I was uh, gonna bring the stuff to a run. I uh, brought the stuff to a run session with BSF 4 by it. And, uh, well, we didn't get to run it, but we got to run some DCC stuff. But, um, so we got three good, so we got three runners. My Illinois Central GP9, I think. I, I'm not sure on what it exactly is, but it's. I'm just going to call it Illinois Central Gulf until I can figure out what it is. Got my Santa Fe diesel, uh, freight diesel because I don't know the specific terms on this one either. And I got a Santa Fe F unit. Not sure of the uh, an FT or F3, but there's no motor on the front, which I don't, I don't know if that's intentional or not. And on the back, there's... It just, they both dangle, but it still runs. Oh, it still runs, but it's not good. Which is surprising because I wish that that Santa Fe Freight Diesel run. Because I actually have two of those. And then I guess a steam engine over there. But unfortunately, the steam engine, I think the drive shaft, is popped out or something. Because it was making all kinds of weird noises when I tried to run it. So, I'm going to bring that over the next time to BNSF War Bonnet's play, layout, and I can run uh, run them on there. Because I think that they're not running well because of track track quality, maybe track cleanliness, I'm not sure. doesn't look dirty, just r rub my fingers along the rails. I don't know if that goes for the same with HO scale, but that's what I do with O scale. But, alright, let's get this Illinois Central Jeep, or I believe Illinois Central Golf going. Just go, it's a, just in a dead stop. There we go. Nope. A little bit too far. of you that have never used HO or Tyco, I don't know if this goes for the entire industry or not, but for Tyco trains I have this Tyco number 897 eight, uh, Master Pack, HO Hobby Transformer by Tyco Industries, um, circuit break for t t overload, um, so first off you gotta turn it on. And then you gotta change, and then you gotta change direction. And then you just spin the wheel up a little bit. Might be going in the wrong direction. Now I'm just in a dead spot. There we go. And then you just change direction, just hit that cool switch there. And it's that easy. Okay, so that's there's my Illinois Central Golf. Here's my Santa Fe. Let me get this one on the track. Because you really can't run them that long at, at speeds that I'm on them at because, well, otherwise they just get stuck with this crappy track. This one obviously isn't as much stuff enough by stamping on it.
That's bad. Nothing. It's all fast. And, uh, yeah, I really don't feel like showing you the F3 because, or the F unit, because it's, um, I got, it takes a while to get on the rails and everything because each individual axle is separate from them, is separated from the shell, so I gotta, it takes a while to get on the track. But that's episode one of Model Train Mondays. Shout outs. Go check out Illinois Rail Fan 1630. Go check out BNSF War BNSF Warbonnet and go check out BNSF fifty one twenty one. And uh thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll be seeing you guys next time.